soon as you go live. Are you live? Oh. You're not gonna find me. Here. It's gonna be fine. You're not gonna need to change anything. Hey everybody, it's the same as always, so Derek. Derek said hi, everyone. Hi. I'm waiting on you. Stare at that the whole time. Too. No, I'm like, go stare at that the whole time. <gasps> Don't give him gadgets. I get gadgets. <laughs> Things excite me. Waiting on you. No, no, you go right ahead. See, always just waiting, waiting on something. Always you. It's always waiting on you. I'm gonna go back over there. The dogs won't go back. <laughs> Yet. Hi, everybody. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Philip. The owners of Virgin Comics. Hey, hey, how about that? Is that what you're waiting on? Yeah, I was waiting on you. Issue 23. Dun, dun, dun. Six months. It's coming up on six months. Is that how many? Oh, hmm. 24. Anyways, I don't know math. 52 weeks in a year. Right. So it's I mean, technically half of that is 26. Next week will be 24. We're closing in, man. We're closing in on half a year of this stuff. I'm getting off topic. All right. Keep going. Oh, you want me to do a slide like that? I quit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, still don't be a villain. Wear a mask. Um, we're, for people who still aren't comfortable coming to the shop, we're still doing curbside and shipping. Um, we've shipped out some stuff this week, so we're still doing that. But if you come in the store, you have to wear a mask. Sorry, folks. It's the rules. Nah, well, I'm not sorry because it's keeping me alive, so. I'm not sorry. Wear a mask. <laughs> You're Free up. comic book center. This is week five? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say it up here. It's so. week five. Yeah. And we have some books. For free, if you come by the shop on Saturday to come see us, keep us company, we have Hillbilly, Norse Mythology, Blade Runner, a lot of mature reader stuff, Little Lulu. That is very mature. Little Lulu. Is Little Lulu is for mature readers only. And then Super Mikado. And then, and then uh, Dark Horse North Myth Norse Mythology book is a critical role. It's a critical role. It's, it's a dual a book. Dual. Sorry, dual books. I can't remember everything. Just saying. Point it out. Also, we are still taking donations. Would you like to give an update? Um, so far, I think, what, with everyone's donations, we're closing in on the $200 mark for our um, charities, which is Bink. And Hero Initiative. So what is Bink? The Book Industry Charitable Foundation. Charitable Foundation. There you go. He's terrible at acronyms, so I like I to am. quiz him. I hate acronyms. I do. They don't use them. Oh, uh, well. Even though my store has one, but that's different. What does the X stand for? Comics. X Richmond Comic Comics. Comics. Well, it's just Richmond Comics. Um. Just look stupid with the RC. Then, then you think of, exactly, <laughs> exactly. That is that is exactly you where we're going. Should do a throwback logo that. with the RC Cola. Eh, maybe one day. Wow, we're gonna get real off topic yeah. today. 
So anyway, so these so we put out new titles yesterday. These titles will be going up August the fifteenth. So with that we're moving on. August the fifteenth. Yes. You know, it felt like January and February were like slow, and now we're in the middle of August. March and April and May were really slow, but June and July. Where have they gone? Yeah. Anyways, my turn again. Your turn again. I think this whole show is your turn again. He was supposed to be building Legos, but he he's not doing it. Slacker. Just drink your coffee and sip your tea. But that's none of my business. So we are still doing our summer reading program until September 7th. I love seeing all the kiddos coming in and taking out their books. It makes me really excited. But don't forget to turn in your packet or you don't get your gift card. <gasps> Over there. <laughs> We're starting to put together the grand prize package. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. So when you turn in your packet, we need your name, a way to contact you, and your age. So it doesn't say that here, but that's what we need. This is mostly curated for the younger readers, but obviously if an older reader wins, we can Maybe two grand prizes or something, but so far this is the big hefty stack we have for the giveaway and it's a combination of all kinds of kinds of things. All kinds of kinds. The Bridge Home. Penguin. Yeah, it's a Puffin Classic. It won an award. Sonic the Hedgehog Volume 3. That was yeah, Volume Penguin, three. right? Let's go IDW. Yeah, but this distributor. Drew and Dot. Dot. The Boom Book. Boom. 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 Who was Ben Franklin if you want to learn something? Pokemon the Ultimate Sketch Challenge. It's still saran wrap though. Never been used. You can sketch your own Pokemon. Nanooks. <laughs> I'm probably saying all these things wrong. This is a graphic novel from Scholastic. And End Games, which is also a graphic novel from Scholastic. And then a Harry Potter coloring book. So there's tons of goodies, and obviously we'll change it if that's not suited for your age group or whatever. And a lot of that was done in conjunction with Penguin and Scholastic. So yeah. So they, they helped us out with, with our giveaway for the book club. Sponsored. You ready? Moving on? Good? Everything good? Alright. Moving on. He really is making me do all the talking I today. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so we're still doing our Instagram live sale on Monday, tomorrow at 7 p.m. We are back to $5 books and I picked everything myself so if it's terrible you can yell at me and I might be doing the sale by myself because Philip has a date with Terry Moore. I do. So... I will be have a meeting with Terry Moore at six. So he's so excited. He's gonna wear his new suit. Everything. I am excited. So, so yeah, it might just be all her at seven o'clock. <laughs> I oh. picked the books. That's I mean, right. I did leave them hanging on Tuesday. Very much so. Sorry. Speaking of, I hopefully will be there this Tuesday. I hope so. <laughs> so does everyone else. Was it terrible? They survived. I'm just so saying. You. I'm just saying they survived. He uh, came you know. home in a really bad mood, so obviously I made him mad. I wasn't in a bad mood. You're always in a bad mood. Oh, that's fair. But <laughs> I wasn't in a bad mood because of that. Are you sure? I'm pretty positive. Mm, I don't believe you. I was frazzled. That, like frazzled, dazzled. It's all my fault. It was getting close to seven o'clock, and then like at six fifty-seven, it was six fifty-seven. I gotta go. <laughs> what do you mean you gotta go? It's three minutes till showtime. I wasn't gonna make it. Yeah. Well, anyway. I didn't make you it. You didn't make it. You know, I'll <laughs> leave it at that. So, all right. So, join us on Tuesday at 7 for another Facebook Live sale. What is a Stan Lee card. Is it making a comeback? It might make you a keep comeback. Hiding it, from it may make a comeback this week. I may uh, let you in on where the secret hiding space is. But there's week. lots of pretties to be had. Yep. And we have a new segment. This is just a preview of our new segment, right. but we're going to do a new segment. 
called Final Order Cutoff. Yeah, I'm sure we'll come up with a better name <laughs> as time goes on. <laughs> so basically, um, we do we talk about Final Order Cutoffs every week. Tommy puts it in the email when he sends them out on Thursday. Um, these are two of the books that's going to be on Final Order Cutoff today. today. Um, you got to get your orders in the day, but what we're going to start doing is we're going to do a new segment on Tuesdays. Or now, whatever day. Or whatever day. Um, we're, we'll probably just pre-record it and put it up, so it may not always be live. Sometimes it may be live, but we're going to do a segment talking about final order cutoff books that's coming up. For Sunday. For Sunday. For today. So we'll post it like on Tuesday, so you can start getting ready to say, hey, here's everything that you really should be thinking about like books that's going to be you know sometimes there's going to be books that we're not going to order many of and you may want and we'll talk about those and sometimes there'll be books that we'll talk about that is kind of flying under the radar that maybe you should look at and you can still get your orders in by final order cutoff so we'll be talking about that on that show on Tuesdays um, we'll be posting on Tuesdays we haven't actually recorded it for this week yet but because we're doing this first because we're doing this first so, so these books that we're about to talk about, you need to put your order in today. Right. We should have plenty, but we're just getting you used to the idea that you need to let us know by Sunday if you have any changes to your orders. Correct. That is correct. So this week, um, today, first off is we're really talking push and boom this week. So it's uh, we only find them when they're dead, and I got the title correctly because it's right in front of me, so I couldn't mess it up this time. You're welcome. But this this is going on final order cutoff uh, today, and so if you would like to get your order in on that, that's Al Ewing's uh, new book from from Boom, and what's it about? So, <laughs> so basically, the premise of this book is and. I'm going to try not to butcher it a whole lot because I haven't actually read the book because it hadn't come out yet. I think we got a PDF, but it's, I hate PDFs. So ba yeah, I do hate PDFs with a passion. Um, so basically, you have these old gods that have just died up in space, and now you have these people who they make money by harvesting pieces of these old gods, and they are like they stake out different areas of that to basically mine and uh, mine all the pieces of that. So that should be, uh, I'm really looking forward to that book. And if you haven't seen, the, there's, a, I think Tommy posted a preview Video. of it on, on the, our Facebook page. It's like and, a comic trailer. And it is, the artwork in this book is gonna be gorgeous. Um, the guy that did the art is, the person that did the art is who did the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Power Ranger book. One of your favorites. So, which was actually one of my favorite books. So. And Bear, not to depress you, but it's a really good book, and I've read it. She's so I read can it. Yeah. it. Thank you, Net Galley, for an advanced copy. So, Bear is a seeing eye dog, but what happens when the seeing eye dog also goes blind? So, he has to figure out new ways to be aware of his surroundings, mm -hmm. and it's just a really feel good story because, I mean, his owner doesn't want to get rid of him, but he thinks his owner might want to get rid of him. So, it's sad and hopeful and you know it's about a dog so it's gonna make you make you cry right yeah. storm yeah i'll be reading that in like dark quiet places so it's really cute the art's really cute and i mean it's about a dog so yep so these two are on final order cut off for today so if you need to get your orders in get them on there um you can go out to uh previews world Dot com and go backslash final order do or something yeah like that. or you can see it you could go find it on the orders bar it's on the main page and so yeah and you can see what's out there for all the other books and uh look for that and get your orders in today and like i said we'll be um we're going to be gathering up a whole bunch of stuff for foc for next week um i can already tell you the big push one of the big push next week is going to be the last ronin Ooh. which is a tmnt book so, not supposed to talk about that yet. I'm just saying that look for that on Tuesday. He's that not going to shut up about it, so be prepared. Yeah, I will not shut up about that book at all. So anyway, so that will be coming up. So you ready? Mm -hmm. Next. All right. Look for us on Tuesday for final order cutoff segment. So new on Tuesday, you can get your copies 
on Tuesday. You don't have to wait till Wednesday. We only have two books. One of them is Lois Lane and the Friendship Challenge. Do you have anything to say? You already read it. Yeah, do you want me to talk about it now or do you want to talk about it during review time? Not a review, but do you want to talk about what it's about? Um, so basically, it's for all ages. It's a Lois Lane book for all ages, and I think she's like 13 in this, and she's trying to basically be like a Instagram famous at 13 with a friendship challenge. Oh. So. His review is to come. Which is about the same as what I just said, so. He's not very good at this. But y'all are used to re me repeating myself a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. Please don't knock over again. Please don't knock over again. All right, keep going. And next we have from Random House Graphic is Crab Apple Trouble. It is so freaking adorable. I can't get over it. It is. It is one of the most adorable books I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. So, the characters are apples, obviously, and there's also a fairy. So, the main characters are Calloway and Thistle. So, Calloway is this apple girl, and Thistle is this fairy, and she's very magical, of course, and she wants to fix everything after she has a nap, and then Calloway is worried about everything. So, together... They love friends, food, I can totally relate to that, mm. and solving problems. But now they have to figure out how to work together with delicious and magical results. What are they going to cook up? I don't know, but it's so adorable. I hope it's not like apple based. I hope it's not cooked. apple pie. <laughs> that would be so Ooh, there's neat. oranges and pears. There's all kinds of fruit. Fruits. It's so cute. It's just adorable. Okay, so this is adorable. You should get it. So next, Wednesday. So Mar, Mar. <laughs> Mar. 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 Give me Mar. For the all ages section, we have Pokemon Adventures number three. Three. Yep. So that is like a mango, but about Pokemon. It's it, Pokemon mangoes. It's panko. Panko. <laughs> Man, you, you fell into that whole food trap and you just can't get out of it now. Panko. Okay, so Pokemon Mango, because it's backwards, that's how I know. Um, it's one of those like thick editions, you know, good, good stories in there. Anyways, and then we have My Little Pony Friendship is Magic number 89. 89? And it's like some season 10. It's Season so, 10, yep. So cute. Ow! Todd just bit me! <laughs> what the hell, man? Our cat has gotten feistier this last month. I think he's sick of quarantine. Cat. Cat. Come here. What are you doing? Keep going. Will you put the cat down? He's purring. He likes it. Okay. Anyways, up next we have Avatar The Last Airbender. Omnibus? Right. It's the promise. So basically, the Dark Horse originally did these. So they did the smaller, thin books. Then they came out with the hardcovers. So now they're actually doing those big hardcovers in softcover form, is what this is. So they're collecting the stories instead of like three books. It's in one book. And they're like $24.99. It's not that yeah. bad. Um, because, you know, Avatar's all the rage now because of Netflix. So get you some. And then we have The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's one again, once again one of those like movie and comics, so basically it's a graphic novel of the movie. But, but not it, a cine it's, story. It's not a cine story, so it's new art, but it looks just like the movie. So if you're a fan of the movie, and, but you want to read it instead of watch it, there you go. Here's your graphic novel. Yeah. Oh, there you go. All right, so next um, is some of our image releases. Once again, not all of them, this just some of them. This is pretty much all of them. There wasn't very much this week. It's not all of them, though. Almost. So anyway, we have uh, Big Girls, number one. You number one. You number one coming out. Um, not sure what that's about. Yeah, sorry. Um, we have Adventure Man, number three. So 
Once again, I will be pushing Adventure Man all week because the first two has been phenomenal and I expect the same out of this one. Did we sell out of number one? I think we sold out of number ones. We uh, no, we still have a number one. We're sold out of number two. twos. I'm sure they're going to do a second printing of uh, twos and it may even go to a third printing of a number one. But that book is still phenomenal. So if you haven't read it, it is well worth picking up. Then we have Oblivion Song, number 26. 26. And Sonata, number 12. So. What's the motto with kids? That's a me joke. So you want to talk about Boom? Or um, Boom? You either talk about Boom or you talk about Marvel? I start about Boom. Okay. So, Happiness Will Follow is an original graphic novel. I read it, but I don't remember right now what it's about. <laughs> it's a memoir. It's Mike Hawthorne, so. I don't remember. Well, I'll talk about that one later. Yep. Uh, Willow number two. Long time coming. Is that something I say when you're sober? <laughs> yes. They don't put words. This is why I can't do this. I don't have... And something is killing children nine <laughs> and then also a new number one this week is seven secrets oh. number one seven secrets number one. Oh, you're supposed to talk about this one yep so seven secrets number one um comes out next week it's a tom taylor book so basically this is last year um one of the books that we looked at from boom that we thought may fly under the radar and it was too good not to be read was Once in Future. So with that book, we basically placed that book in everyone's box with a, with a guarantee basically that if you took it, you read it, and if you didn't like it, you could bring it back and we would basically give you credit for that book because um, you, know, you buy books from us the next week. And so this year, um, we're actually going to pick on Seven Secrets. So, this is going to be in your box, whether you like it or not. But we believe that if you give it a give it a chance and give it a shot, it's going to be a book that's kind of flying under the radar. Um, and I'll talk about it during the review portion of this comment. But this will be in all of our subscriber box this week. So, you'll see it. Not and, this cover. No, not that cover. This is a... Oh, hey, what's up? This was a boom... A boom retailer in so center cover. for Philip. Yep, so. This is a Philip cover. And that way I can read it because I don't like reading PDFs. But you'll <laughs> find that in your box. And like I said, it's a, it's a guaranteed book for you that, hey, if you take it home, you read it, you don't like it, you'll be able to bring it back to us. Yeah. So. So check it out. I'm sure it's good. It's actually really good. The premise is pretty phenomenal, I actually. It. Marvel! This is just some of the Marvel titles. So basically, we have Empire number five coming out this week. So we're continuing our march toward the end of Empire. Um, Ghost Spider number nine is releasing this week. We have Amazing Spider-Man 46, which is leading up to basically the Green Goblin returning. And then the whole, I think the whole end of that storyline as Leo is trying to escape over there. And then we have Captain Marvel 19, where Captain Marvel continues as the accuser. So, <laughs> spoiler alert, she has a half sister. <laughs> so, anyway, so that will uh, continue with the Empire this week. So, all that's been pretty good. So, next, and then DC. Oh, so I'll continue. All right. <laughs> We have Batman Detective Comics number 1025. Woohoo! 1025! Woo! Wonder Woman 760. Dark Knight's Death Metal number 3. And Wonder Twins Volume 2. Yep. Good old Wonder Twins. Well, you've already read this. Are you yes, talking about it later? Yeah, talk about it later. Wonder Woman. What? Wonder Woman. That's Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Twins Volume 2 trade. Mark Russell. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. If you're, you're not reading Mark Russell books, then. Here. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Um, we're going to. Actually, I'm going to mention it really quick. 
and then we'll mention it for our Tuesday show on FOC. This is Detective Comics uh, 1025. So Detective Comics 1027 is quickly approaching, um, and actually it will be on FOC next Sunday. And um, on that, there is 12 different covers. Oh my gosh. On Detective 27, because if you remember, we had Detective 1000 come out, so it was the thousandth issue of Detective that was a big book, while Detective 27 is the thousandth issue of Batman, because Detective 27 was his first book. So they're doing 12 different covers for that book, and it's a $10 book. And we're going to offer a packet, basically, for anyone who wants to pre-order the 12 different covers, it'll be $100. So I thought you were talking about this later. We are, but I just want to get it out here, because we're talking about Tuesday, but I want people to be prepared. Be prepared. That it's coming, because you only, news coming. You only have like a, a week to, to get that in there. So well, Are there pictures of the covers? Uh, right now, we've only seen like five pictures, and one of them they worked hard on because it's a blank cover. <gasps> so we don't have all 12 covers yet. Hopefully, we'll have something out by uh, hmm. by Monday or Tuesday when we talk. But anyway, we know people like a bunch of different covers, so we're going to offer a way for people to get it and or not. So. Why not? Previews due on the 20th, which is fastly approaching. Because the day is what, the night? <sighs> yeah. So, yep, get your previews in, work on them. Get your previews in. I don't have a book. I don't know where it is. It's over there. It's underneath that whole stack of books. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't would, do it either. You'd have a I would just Lego just topple. Disturb store. the sleeping. But, yeah, I meant to grab it and I didn't. But anyway, so previews is coming. If um, There's probably next week, um, with the, another week gone, we're going to talk about previews again and go back through how to use it. If you're a subscriber and you're not using previews, why you should be, yada yada. So that'll be a segment next week. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, we'll go. Okay. Or ask. Ask us about how to use previews if you don't do want it. to wait. Yes. Because it's, it's important and it's a way to make sure that you get books and not miss a book. And he likes talking about it. I do. So does Tommy. Tommy likes talking about it too. So, just saying, we had our book club meeting yesterday, talked about Mr. Miracle, and we were all like, what the heck is happening? So, next month, we're talking about Something is Killing the Children, Volume 1. This is a different cover. Don't be alarmed. It's still the same book. So, September 12th at 4, still on Zoom, we will be discussing Something is Killing the Children, this was David's pick, so he better be there to participate. And it's Zoom, people. You don't have to leave your house to join us in. And we talk about books. Book what we, could possibly go wrong? We talk about this book. We'll talk about a bunch of different books. If you're not a member of the Richmond Comics Book Club group to where you get the Zoom links, go and join. There's a lot um, of folks in that group that just don't want to participate. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean... It's a good discussion. Like I said, we talk about a bunch of different stuff. So it's not just... Philip just, sometimes has cameos. I do sometimes. I wave as I go by. Speaking of cameos, he made a really good point about Mr. Miracle yesterday, and he didn't bring it up at book club. <sighs> Fail. I was busy. Whatever. It's working. No, you weren't. <laughs> up next, would you like to review something? Sure. So I will first review, which is... Seven Secrets. Seven Secrets, which comes out Wednesday. If you're a subscriber, it will be in your box. Um, so the premise of Seven Secrets is that throughout time, there's been these seven secrets that have been guarded, um, by, basically by guardians. Right. And so there's a basically a carrier of the secret, and then they have a guard. And it's just the two people going through, and throughout time, people have tried to find out what those secrets are. They've killed for those secrets, and so now we're basically, it's a current time where it's starting to get harder and harder to protect these secrets as more and more people are really after them and to get it. So this is basically kicking off that storyline of, um, it's talking about the one of the, one of the groups that's actually keeping one of the secrets safe. 
um, and what and the people that are after them. Is so, it a mini series? Um, it's right now. I think it's just a it's just a series. I'm not sure if they've actually tagged a mini series. Maybe I, you should have asked me that question before I started talking about it because I do not know. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the next review is basically um, Death Metal number three that's coming out this week. And once again, as <laughs> I would just take this book as a summer blockbuster, like don't really put a whole lot of thought into what's going on and just go for the ride. And it's somewhat enjoyable. I know some people is like they have no idea what's going on and they hate this book. Eh, it's fine. You don't have to know what's going on. Just take the action and the people that's there and go along with some of the crazy stuff that they're coming up with. Like all these different new versions of Kryptonite. and It's the dark multiverse, so they can oh mess with the rules. So just kind of go with it and go with the flow. But I've enjoyed it mainly because it's kind of dumb. And this is the art variant? Or the that's the art jump. Uh We'll probably have more of those, yeah. It's like cover C or something like that. Gorgeous, right? So that's the art germ. Uh, Supergirl variant for that book. So this week, finally, Superman. We find out where Superman has been because he hasn't been in the first couple of issues. So now we actually find Superman and figure out how to rescue him. And we also find out who they're trying to rescue as the most important hero in this storyline. And it may not be who you're thinking because you're probably not thinking of this at all. It's Robin. No. It's Robin Don't bring up it? Robin King. No one needs to talk about Robin King. And then... Um, and next is basically Wonder Twins Volume 2. Um, we continue their story on being a hero. It's issue 7 through 12. Um, and basically they continue trying to be a hero or and adjust to... They're, they're, they're basically from another galaxy. Um, they've come to Earth. They're still trying to be heroes. And how can they help the Justice League? And basically... In this set of series, they continue to think that like the Justice League is just thinking too, too much on like punching people. Like there's a better way to handle certain situations that they can follow through and work through. So that is uh, kind of what they're working on there. The the book itself, um, both volumes, is excellent on that book. And so this is the end. That is the end. The end. Um, there may, I mean, they may, they've talked about doing more volumes of the Wonder Twins, but I don't know if uh, if they will or not. Hmm. It's part of the Wonder Comic stuff, but it's uh, Mark Russell, so I'm going to like it. And then the Lois Lane book, basically, uh, it's all ages. So anyone, anyone who has people who are friends, like the, uh, friends who are really into like the Babysitters Club. Or anything like that that's um, kind of where this is geared toward um, they kind of tweak Lois's uh, personality a little bit um, in this as a 13 year old she's not very likable she's yeah she's she's still kind of sort of headstrong and won't listen to anyone but they make her somewhat not as likable as I would have liked from the story but I mean I, the art is adorable but the art is the art is a uh, Excellent. The artist has done like the Hellcat series for Marvel. Um, she's done some stuff for Lumberjanes. And uh, I think it was a couple other books I read. I can't remember now. Goldie Vance? But yeah, Goldie Vance. Grace Ellis is Lumberjanes. Yes. The writer's Lumberjanes. Yeah. Grace Ellis is one of the creators of uh, Lumberjanes. So they, they tried to pack a lot into this little book. I think it would have probably been better off to kind of plan maybe a couple of these books to let them play with that personality a little bit. Um, there's kind of a small little mystery in it. So for like the little smaller kids, for the babysitter club, it'll probably be right up their alley. Yeah, she's got a um, magnifying glass. Right. So, but it's not a, you know, it's not a deep mystery. <laughs> so, so that comes that. out on Tuesday. Yep, that comes on Tuesday. So for more reviews... Um, I think Watson reviewed the actual Mr. Miracle yesterday, two after book club, so that was done. So for more reviews from Richmond Comics and Watson, you can go to Watson at the Watson Review and read those uh, novels, graphic novels. And then you can actually go, I'm 
we've talked about it. I'm actually using Twitter a little bit more and I'm doing one-line reviews. So if you like to read a one-line review that's somewhat kind of stupid. Um, oh, I thought you hit it. So if you'd like to read one-line reviews of books, I'm trying to put them out there as I read it. I think yesterday I did Bad Mother and... I read Bad Mother. Yeah, Bad Mother was really good. Um, from AWA, should go read Bad Mother. I think we have a few copies left at the store. It's actually it's actually really worth it. One of the variants is funny because it's actual like photograph of a mom. Yeah. So, but uh, Bad Mother was good. So I'm, I'm doing one-line reviews on Instagram. It was, I think I did one-line reviews, what, years ago? Oh, on Instagram, now you're doing it on Twitter. I mean, on Twitter, yeah. I used to do it on Instagram, now I'm doing it on Twitter. And I'm just doing them as the books come out. So that will get- As he reads them. Yeah, that way I can make stupid comments. He laughs at him, I do, himself. I do laugh at my stupid jokes a lot. Um, Also, he needs to finish building his Hulkbuster, if you want to watch, that's on YouTube. Well, yeah. except for part four, because it got flagged, because he's watching Kim Possible. <laughs> Disney took down my part four of my Hulkbuster build, so, because I was watching Kim Possible, and Disney was not happy with me using Kim Possible as background noise. Mm. So, yeah, about that. Not bad. Oh, well. Fine. But they're okay with Iron Man and But they're Infinity okay War. With, with Infinity War, so... They're, they're fine with me doing Infinity War in the background, but they are not happy about me using Kim Possible as a background focus. Anyway, anything else? Um, anything else? Back to book club real quick. We, I think we're almost out of these again. But you ordered some, right? I ordered more, so if you need one, let us know to make sure we can order you a copy. They're easy to get. Just need to know. So if you want to participate and you don't have the single issues, let us know. And then look for us on, well, Monday nights, $5 Instagram. And look for us Tuesday in a tape segment for FOC. Um, that segment may be longer <laughs> or shorter, depending on how we talk about it. Since it's our first, first show on FOC show, it may be longer. But we'll probably post it and then put like a list of hey here's what we kind of talked about in that show so you can see it so pay pay look for pay attention to look for that on facebook and instagram uh might not be on instagram it's the video yeah but the list we'll oh. probably do a list and it'll be of on saying, youtube hey. if you subscribe to our youtube channel yeah so we'll have that out there and then New books on Wednesday. Yeah, I guess we gotta work on that now, huh? Yeah, we kind of gotta figure that out. So. Yeah. Or at least, well, we could probably record it Monday night. What did you say? Uh, can I get a copy of that number one image book in box one thirteen? Big girls. I'm assuming he's talking about big girls. So. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Should no. be able to. We'll have to wait. The book come in Tuesday though. Yeah, we'll work on that on Tuesday. Yep. So Jeff. Yeah. So. Okay. Turtle is trying hard to escape. Yeah. Can you see him? You can probably see him in here. <laughs> he hates us. <laughs> he does. He does hate us. Ralph loves Ralph us. Ralph doesn't care. But yeah. So. So anything else? I'm good. All right. So we will see you back Monday for our Instagram sale, and then we'll have a couple things going on. Well, I may not see you Monday for Instagram sale. May, but. He's punishing me. Oh, the adventure. The adventure man is number three. Adventure man number three. He's in there kitchen. Uh, Jess says uh, she needs a uh, something is killing children. Something is killing yeah, children. Yeah, just mention my answer. Yeah. So Jack will get on that too. Like I said, we I think we only have one left, and we need to order more. Because right. I've ordered more, and they don't have any. Yeah. So I'm sure they'll be here soon. Yeah. Before next month. All right, so I think that's it. Unless you got anything else. No. Good? We're all good? All right. So, Jeff, if you just let us know what you want, you want message of the shop, we'll get that added to it. If it's, if you're talking about the Adventure Man, that's number three, but just message us back at the Facebook. Uh, and I am, and we'll direct not, messages. yeah, direct message us, and we'll, we'll get all that straight come Tuesday. So, and then we'll get Jess's stuff. So, and then Jacqueline will be with you Monday night. 
five dollar books. And then I will we'll be back on Tuesday for Tuesday night live sale on Facebook and then our FOC show. So while I'm off doing other things. Cool. All right. Thanks, Bill. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Thanks once again for joining us. Uh, let us know what you think, what you don't think. You have questions, concerns. Talk to the boss lady, and she'll handle everything. Bye, everybody. See you later.